Good scrappers, tool addicts, tool collectors. Welcome to CC Scraps and Restoration Channel. Uh, we got kind of a short video today. Uh, first of all, we got to go out to the cooler. Yeah, buddy. It's like ice fishing. Genesee uh, Cream Ale. This is uh, brewed right in Rochester, New York, west of here, about 80 miles, I think, in between Buffalo and Syracuse. But anyway, so first of all, I'd like to, uh, I got a mail call this week from uh, Gunter's Garage. Thanks, man. This is uh, really cool. I like the postcard. Um, if you know the name of that lighthouse, that would be cool if you could let me know. That's really neat. Um, and check out my man's logo. Like, this thing's ridiculous. Check him out. Like, get a good look at him. This is, this is really cool, dude. Um... I see it, you know, like on on your on YouTube and stuff like that. But I can't. It's if it's not like it's hard to see. But like right when you get up on it, it's just this is the coolest logo, dude. Very cool. Um, at least for my eyes, anyway. Uh, but yeah. So also now we're gonna get into this uh, thing I picked up over the weekend. Um, this was. I come back from lunch, we're going to tell kind of like a story. We're going to come back from lunch, and this is sitting in my tech bay. So, you know, I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, that's cool. You know, I fig figured, you know, somebody gave it to me, Gene or Gary or somebody. Uh, but anyway, turned out that, oh, I just want to show you right now, but I can't. Uh, it turned out that uh, it came from, over from the Weld School. So, you ready? Check this out. Yeah, I do not have one of these. This is a Garland number three split uh, split head hammer. Um, I'm going to do a nice cleanup, and this is going to hang on the wall. Um, and uh, need some work on top of the on top of the head. Um, the handles, we can fix that. We're gonna sand this handle down. Um, we're gonna. I'm gonna one. I, I ordered the uh, the faces off of Amazon. They'll be here next week. So I'm gonna do that once I once I get the the faces in. We'll we'll do a restore on this. But I've always wanted one of these. So it turns out that um it's been there for like I don't know. Shoot. Four years, two or two or four years, or something like that, but a long time. And and uh, the welding instructor gave it to me, so that was cool. Um, it used to belong to somebody's grandfather. I don't know who, but if I find out who it is and they want it back, I will surely give it back to them because I know how that is to have your granddaddy's things. Um, but if not, it's going to get fully uh, well, fully restored to the best of my ability. So let's give a little history. We're going to put you in the cradle, and we're going to go. Uh, Give a little bit of history about uh, Garland manufacturing. All right, sit tight. So, Bob, when I get more magnet paper, I like to make magnets out of stickers that everybody give me. You're going to go right here, dude, under Resto Rob and next to Dale's workshop. I think that's a good spot right there, man. But, yeah, thank you again, dude. This is awesome. And the other one, I'll probably make a magnet. I'll probably stick it on Granddaddy's toolbox or something or maybe this Craftsman that I picked up that was actually given to me, which I was shocked. It needs a little work, but I think I uh, did that on a video before y'all can check that out. But anyway, so, <clears throat> got my glasses on so I can see. Got us a cold beer. Yeah, now we're cooking, right? So, I wrote it down in a real notebook this time instead of the, uh, <laughs> The, my Harbor Freight Rodeo, ro, Rodeo, eh, ro, <laughs> Rotary Hammer uh, directions and safety stuff and part numbers and shit like that. So, <clears throat> Garland number three, uh, this is the, like I said, it's a split head hammer. It was, it's made in Saco, Maine. This company's been in business since 1866, uh, selling mallets, hammers, Malls, uh, 
handles, faces. Uh, it was founded in 1866 by James G. Garland. Uh, all, gar uh, all Garland products are made in the USA to this day, which is freaking awesome. It's, it's a shocker that that even happens anymore. And we won't even get started on that. Um, and it's owned by six generation Garland family. So it's been in the fan, like there's an actual Garland on the whatever that's, you know, got their hand in running or whatever they're doing. 1950, they started doing injection moldings, I guess, for their hammers, what I was reading briefly online and in, in their products. Uh, in 1984, they built a 53,000 square foot uh, building. Uh, it was all modernized and everything to make their products. Uh, they saw mallets, hammers, handles, faces, plastic, and rawhide hammers. Um, and that was like the littlest brief history that I had. And then if you want, I'm going to insert some pictures. Yeah, I'm going into the pictures now to see if uh, that works and see how that goes of some of the, the company and some of the people that were there all right so hope you enjoy and we'll get these pictures up get this video up thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one cc scraps and restorations y'all have a great weekend